was there by faith I received my sight and now I am happy all the day but drops of grief can repay the depth of love I owe here Lord I give We will invite a speaker for the hour, our sister Jane, who is going to give us a message, and I will request Brother Alfred to give us an opening prayer. Let's pray. Father, it has come a moment now. We are going to hear from your servant. Give us good listening, and so that we can hear your word for tonight. Praise us all, and give us wisdom, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At the cross, that is where all of us, we have our salvation. Um, before I start, I could ask pastor up there. If you can protect that so that uh, we can go together. Okay, at the cross, why the cross? Why do we need the cross? We need the cross because there, that's where we found our salvation. So the topic this evening is going to be why we need the cross. And we are going to open with the first. And before I, I read, let us pray again. Father, this is your word and this is your time. Please help us know why you had to offer your child Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us. Lead us and guide us. Give us the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Why we need the cross? When I was going through, I faced it on what the children have been uh, talking about the whole week about the Good Samaritan. We got the story of the Good Samaritan, how Christ has to reach and reachable. The people who didn't deserve. The people who people had written off. You know, there are some people who say that one cannot tell you anything. What does he have? You write somebody off. So uh, Christ had to go. The children walked us through until they get into Jesus saving many through the, 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 the lady at the, who didn't deserve. The Samaritan woman. So, why did Jesus did that? He did that because he loves us so much. He loved that Samaritan woman so much. He thought that nobody really wanted because he could come to fetch water in the middle of the day when the sun is scorching so hard. 
but that's the time she could come so that she could not mingle with anybody. So because of Christ, because why the reason he came, he came to seek the lost. The first says this, the cross is the marching order for Christians. After Jesus explained to his disciples that he must suffer, he tells them, if anyone could come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That is Matthew 16, 24. Jesus is saying, if you want to follow me, you have to deny yourself. When the woman was saying at the, the well, uh, when she was fetching water, she was asking Jesus, you don't have anything to give me. You don't have anything to throw water. What do you think you're going? And Jesus is saying, if you follow him, he will give you eternal life, the water of life. Um, I started this by saying this. Mostly I wanted to talk to the pathfinders, but it seems like they left. Sometimes when you watch the, the story of the, the cross with your children, they feel scared. They, see, they have remorse. They sympathize with Christ. So they don't feel good. So I started and, uh, that I understand why we don't like to look at the cross. Because it's scary. We're going to see. The crucifixion brings up a lot of uncomfortable memories. Remember the stripes? Remember the blood and everything? They dragged Jesus, they throw him down. That brings uncomfortable uh, the emotions, guilt, sadness, perhaps, and confusion or shame. Indeed, we have nothing in ourselves to post off, but we may re reveal in the love of Christ, and uh, which was demonstrated at the cross. I have the pathfinders here. One way or the other, maybe they have not known that they are the disciples of Christ. We are, this is Nebraska. If you can see, please work with me up there because I don't have much, much time. Yeah, they went, they read the Bible. This morning, Victor was doing a, talking about the, the book of uh, redemption, how the children of, of, of Israel crossed over to get into the promised land. So these pathfinders, they have worked, they have told the world that they can read and they retain the information of God. Now they got a trophy. If you go to pastor's office, you will see it. I see the teachers, you see teacher Miriam is just smiling, you know, just saying that, yeah, we are soldiers of the cross. They, the, our pastor is right there. You can see our pastor is right there. It's not left out. The, the cross is what we need to tell our children. It's not the, the, the reading, it's not the, the, the number one, it's about the cross. Why we need the cross. I have Jesus here crucified. If you can go, thank you. He says in Romans 5, 8, we need the cross, but because God shows his love for us in that. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us on the cross in that shameful tree. It was nailed there because of me and because of you and because of the pathfinders, all the children of God. John 3.16, which everybody knows, that for God so loved the world, he let his child hang on the cross for me and, uh, and you. First Corinthians, he says, when the world looks at the cross, for the word of the cross is fully to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it's the power of God. That is where we get the power. So when I'm going, I'm asking this question, why we need the cross is because it's our power. It's our salvation. It's where, when we look, we see God. Next. Thank you. So you can read with me. The cross of Christ brings us near to God. That's why we need the cross. It reconciles man to God and God to man. 
The father looks upon the cross, upon the suffering he has given his son to endure in order to save the race from the hopeless misery and to the drawn men to himself. He looks upon it with the relenting combustion of a father's love. Jesus looked at his son on the cross. He sees the son suffering, but it, the, he had to let it happen because to satisfy the law. The whole testament was when um, Genesis 3.15, when the devil was cast and the animal was killed, it was pointing to Christ. So that Christ's crucifixion was the exact antitype of the death of the Passover lamb. All the time the animal was killed, it was pointing to Christ. As the lamb died instead of the firstborn, sheltered in the homes of the Hebrews, so Christ died instead of sinners, deserving death, but choosing him as a savior. This is often called a furious uh, death, meaning death in place of us. Remember, when God said, if you eat the tree, you will die, he meant everything he was saying. And he had to pay that by sacrificing his own son to die on the cross. That day, when Jesus was hanged, he was fulfilling the law. The love of God had to meet the death so that we can be saved. So when we are walking, let us ask ourselves, why the cross? Why do I need the cross? I need the cross because that is where my salvation is. Look at Jesus. Next, next please. Next. Look at the Son of God. Do you remember this picture? That's why I said from the, when you, you look, you think of the cross, when you see those pictures, there's emotions comes into you. You say, this shouldn't have happened to the Son of God, but it did happen. That is how it, it happened. Uh, do you see the tone, the crown? He was put on that to scorch him. It was on his head, where there's the brain. The skull was pinched inside. It's because of me, you and me. Look at the crowd. People are just celebrating. They are following. They are just saying, crucify, crucify him, crucify him. And the Savior getting into crucifixion time, he says, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. For sure, they didn't know what they are doing. They, they just want to ignore that they didn't know. Because the Passover was pointing to Christ from the beginning. But they, Jesus is saying, Father, forgive them, for they don't know. Thus the Son of God was delivered to the people to be crucified. Jesus allowed the, these dirty ants to touch his son, to crucify his son. He allowed it. They laid the dear Savior away. He was weak. Verbal, through pain and suffering, caused by the scorching and blows which he had received. Yet they laid on him the heavy cross upon which they were up soon to nail him. This cross, Jesus is carrying the heavy cross, symbolizing the heavy sin we do. He came to save all of us. None is left out. Not even one. That is the heavy burden Christ carried. But Jesus fainted beneath the burden. Your sins and my sins made Christ faint. Let's think about that. Three times they laid on him the heavy cross, and three times he fainted. If it were you who was carrying the cross of your, 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 your relatives or your friend, if it were me, I could just say, no, it's enough. I, I fainted once, and now I don't want to faint. But he did three times. Jesus endured that pain. They then seized one of his pharaohs, a man who had not openly professed faith in Christ. 
yet believed on him. He never said, yeah, I'm following you, but he said, this guy is doing wonders, he's healing people, he's talking good, he's just a, a good person. He was following Jesus from afar, but he's the one who took the cross. They just picked him. I, I, I was thinking about this guy, how lucky he was. The Savior was needed a little help, and he offered. He could have said, no, I don't want to do that. What about me and you? So a number of his disciples followed into Calvary. You can see on that um, end there, so many followed. The mom, the mother of Jesus was following. The women who went to, uh, to anoint his body, they were there. The disciples whom Jesus loved so much, they were there. But they couldn't do anything. They couldn't uh, make Jesus not to go to the cross because the cross is where our salvation was. Remember what Jesus uh, did? I'm just taking you back. The children have been talking about the Samaritan woman. Go on, next. Next, please. The first picture is the Samaritan woman. They're talking face to face. They are, Jesus, they are confessing. Give me water. Say, how? A Jew, man, and a, a, a woman. How can you ask a, a, Sam a Samaritan woman to give you water? But they did, she didn't know that this is the Savior, and this is when our time was for her salvation. But after Jesus being patient with, he, with her, she was, he was so patient. The woman was arguing, are you, are you bigger than the one who, who gave us this well? Jesus didn't tell until he said, I wish you know who is asking you the word. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is patient with each one of us. He is ready to listen and, and talk with us one on one. He is our savior. He allowed himself to go to the cross to die for me and for you. The children have enjoyed reading this the, uh, the whole week. The, the, the lady, after Jesus took uh, his time to explain, he said, for sure, this is Christ. And she ran. She ran as fast as she could to go get the other people to come and see. They called to mind Jesus, reading triumphant. They, when people saw this, Remember when Jesus was going to Jerusalem, he rode on a small donkey. Going there, they were singing, Hallelujah, Hosanna. Now they are seeing him <laughs> being beaten, going to be, uh, to be crucified. You know, they couldn't even understand what Christ was doing. And they followed him crying, Hosanna, remember? In the highest. And throwing their garments on the way, and the beautiful bam branches. They thought that it was then to take the kingdom and reign tri uh, temporal uh, prince over Israel. How changed, how changed the scene? After all, Jesus is saying, they are just celebrating. We are going to be free indeed. Free and free. They were singing, but all of a sudden this has changed. Remember? This has changed. Jesus is there. They thought oh, is that how prided uh, their prospect, prospects. They followed Jesus not with rejoicing, not with bounding their, their hearts and cheerful, but they followed Jesus. Mark 5:21, the story of this woman, the woman you remember who was uh, uh, bleeding for 12 years. He says, "If only I can touch." the hem of his, his cloth, I'll, I'll get well. And indeed, Jesus recognized her and says, your faith has saved you. Remember the story of Titus' daughter. Titus said, my daughter is, 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 is sick, needs your, your healing. But they was followed and said, don't, don't bother the master. He is, the, the, the child is, is dead. But Jesus said, no, let's go. And look at the Savior, as busy as he was, 
He could just single one person and go because he came to seek. Look at the Bethesda. That guy, you remember, the choir sings all the time. He was sitting there in that pool for many, many, many years. But when Jesus saw up, don't you think there were a lot of people? They were, but Jesus recognized him and healed him. What about the blind guy who was blind from the, the mom's womb? He says, I want to see. And Jesus granted, and he, he was able to see. So many things Jesus did. So many things he, he touched people's lives. But we forget so easily. People forgot after they see all these, the miracles he did. They could follow him even up to where there were so many and they, wanted, they didn't want to go home. Uh, they were given the food. Even they saw the miracle of the food. The little food which was multiplied and they were remaining. But still they forgot and they dragged Jesus to the cross. The cross demonstrates this. I'm just finishing. Why do we need the cross? That is where our salvation is. Pathfinders, I wish if they, you were here. Jesus wants all of us to tell the world why we need the Savior. The cross is the Savior. The cross is our Redeemer. The cross is our Prince of Prince. The cross is our Advocate. We need the, the cross. We need to know that without the cross, we are nothing. So um, the, last, the last piece of it. Okay. I don't know if there's somebody there. Okay, why do we need the cross? I have a couple of points here and then I sit down. The cross demonstrated the self-renouncing love of God who risked it all to save inhabitants of rebellious planets. The cross provi provide that God proved that God takes personal interest in me and you. Personal. It's not communion. Yes, we are here in, in, uh, in KCC, but the cross is proves that God takes a personal interest in me and in you. We need the cross. You need the cross. I need the cross. The cross of Christ reminds me that he died that I might live eternally. I could die, die forevermore, because the wages of sin is... The wages of sin is what? Death. So this death was demanding that we die. But Jesus died there on the cross and he said, it is finished. So the cross reminds me that I am going to live eternally. The cross forever removed any sympathy for Lucifer from the minds of other inhabitants of the universe. In, uh, in, 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 at 9 o'clock, we have the lesson discussion, and we were discussing about, uh, uh, about Lucifer. Why didn't, why didn't God kill Lucifer? Why, didn't, why does God want Lucifer to torture the, his children? But he wants to see. So because if you, you hate sin, you are not going to sympathize with the, uh, with the devil, but to love God, Love him to the end. So, the cross demonstrates that the law of God is unchangeable. You, it's not, it was the wages of sin, you die. So, that, so Christ had to die that death. But the love of God is great enough to save fallen sinners. The cross remind us, reminds us that we are sinners in need of a, a savior. The cross demonstrates that sin is costly. You see Christ on the cross? Sin is really costly. It costed God to let his child die. So the cross assures us of eternal life. The cross of, of Christ restored all that was lost in Eden. Remember we lost everything? And we were chased out of the garden? But Christ came and he restored us. The cross reminds me that salvation is found in 
renunciation, crucifixion, not in seeking the highest place for ourselves. We don't want to be like, you need to be recognized, but you need to uh, be proud of yourself or be proud of ourselves that we know the Savior. The cross demonstrates that God is both just and merciful. God is just and merciful. Just in that, when he, the, devil, uh, the devil messed in heaven, he was chased. God gave the devil chance so that all of us can see the devil's work. So that is just. And then uh, is love. So, the glory of the character of God shines out from the cross on which Jesus was crucified. Uh, when you see the cross, we sometimes ask why God could allow, but we see the glory of God on that cross. And then finally, the list, the list could go on, but we need the cross. We need the cross so that the cross is interceding for us. Jesus is in heaven interceding for me and you. Without the cross, it couldn't happen. Jesus is coming back to take us home. He is ready to come now. He is so patient because he has a personal, he needs to have a personal relationship with each one of us. He's waiting patiently for each one of us to recognize the cross, to accept that Jesus died because we was going to die, but he died for us. May God help us. As we have this personal relationship with God, as we recognize that we are nothing without the cross. When we will call God all the time to thank him for what he did on the cross, he is our savior, he is our God, he is our father. He knows each of, each of our weaknesses. He knows the weakness of the, 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 the Samaritan woman. He, she, he was so patient with the blind man. He was so patient with everybody, even those who laid the, the friend to come where Jesus was. He could have t told them, stop, don't bring that person down. But he allowed it to come. Look at the, that love. May God help us this evening. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart roared away. It was there by day I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you so much for the cross. You are God. You love us so much individually. Father, we have heard from you. Jesus had to die on the cross for our sins. To give us eternal life. To give us the second time so that we can be with you forevermore. Father in heaven, if there is anything doubt in our hearts about the cross, if there is anything which will hinder us to come to you, help us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who is among us, who is talking to each one of us in a small, still voice. Father, please help us. We cannot do it on our own. You have helped others like Paul. You met him and you changed him. You met Jacob and you changed him. Change each one of us, Father in heaven. Please help us. We love you so much. We don't know how, but you know. Put in us that character of humility, of loving, of serving. Help us to go out there and tell others about you and the cross. Thank you because you are a God who understands, answers, and who knows of uh, each one's desire and the wants and needs. Fulfill it according to your riches in glory. It's in your name of Jesus Christ we are prayed. Amen. Amen.
say for that message? Amen. Yeah, we thank God. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we thank God for uh, this evening. We thank you for the Pathfinders. As we know, tomorrow is Pathfinders Sabbath. So let us come prepared to see what our children have, uh, they have for us. Let's pray for them.